All right, so I have my settings at 2,000 hertz, 256 samples. If you want to know the time frame of the waveform graph in buffer mode, is the 256 divided by the 2,000. I'll show you an example of what that looks like here. So this is the settings right now. So it's just on auto scroll, normal mode. That's what it looks like. Pretty unusable. That's with the waveform option on. That gives you just that buffered section. So all you're gonna get is what you see. This is a crankshaft sensor waveform. You can see that's all you get. It's just what's on the screen. But it's still pretty handy. And you can see we'll change the time frame from 2000 to 8000. Go back, turn on the waveform mode. And you can see it's a much shorter time base. And again, that's the 256 divided by 8000, or the 256 divided by whatever hertz setting you have it set at. So we're going to go to 1000. And see what that looks like. See how it zooms way out. So play with that. And see what you can do. Um, it's not as accurate as a scope, but still pretty awesome. Uh, I'm definitely impressed with this little meter. So I think I'm going to use the heck out of this thing and see if I can get to where I need the scope instead of this. But uh, so that's how you use that waveform function, uh, and it seems to be fairly accurate you know it's not it's not scope level but pretty friggin close <clears throat> definitely usable this way I'll show you here too if we want to get the smallest pretty unusable for this size waveform but you can actually see the slopes up down You can see we'll take that out to 256 so we can actually see something. And there's our waveform dancing around. There it is again, zoomed out a bit. So that's how you do that. Uh, it took me a little bit of messing around to get where I was happy with it, but uh, that's how you do it. There is an explanation of the manual. I think it could be a little better written, but uh, this gets my point across. It does work. It takes a little bit of messing around with, but I think it's worth your time. Uh, as far as a quick, fast, dirty tool, uh, this is going to start to be my go-to for at least the next few weeks and see how it goes.